Hey guys, welcome to another tying episode. And uh, today I want to tie a fly, Bocktail and Nyad. It's a really simple fly, but I want to share an idea with you um, about being able to move, uh, to, uh, to change the properties of a fly a little bit quicker at the water and uh, change the amount of noise and movement and everything. So uh, I would like to share that with you and uh, let's just try, so we just try it out and um, the color of the fly is uh, it's a white fly with a um, silver grayish uh, back and um, orange, orange gilts and um, that was a really successful fly for, for, for last winter and also a friend of mine really caught a good fish on it. Uh, one one sixteen pike lately, um, so I thought this color so maybe worth trying it out. And uh, we're tying it on a partridge hook on a six o, and uh, just tie it with a uh, GSP. It's a GSP one hundred. Just give it a few wraps. Don't need to cut it. Just tie it down. And we take a little bit of super glue. It's uh, a zipper gap. It's not the brush on, the brush on is empty, so it's, uh, but it's the same glue. But uh, yeah, if you, if you look for glue for doing that, get the brush, it just uh, makes everything cleaner. So um, what we're doing now is we are not using uh, these uh, usual tail connectors, but we're using a fast attach. And I uh, got some here from from, uh, from Partridge. I think it's a uh, it's a pulp. I think it's called a pulp. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So we're getting one of these and just get it in here. But uh, for getting the uh, titanium flattened together, it's uh, actually nicer. So we take a beat and slide it on and then we uh, just tie the titanium on and uh, so I want to try something out we're folding the titanium back here as well so uh, when we uh, connect the hook onto the onto the fast attach the pike is not able to pull the um, to pull the um, titanium out of the uh, windings. Just be careful at the end where you cut the titanium not to cut your thread. If it doesn't matter, you just uh, tie over it again, use a little bit of super glue, but uh, just save the time. So um, we cut in, uh, we tied in our titanium, and um, now we just tie the usual fly. Uh, it's the uh, same fly, the same pattern as I showed you in the last video and um, we're just using two layers of bucktail and knife again only in uh, different colors so we start with uh, the bucktail just a few loose wraps flare it around the hook and then spread it make it tight not too tight otherwise you cut through the material tie the uh, bucktail down Now we take uh, some nyad using white nyad here. You can use a uh, white nyad, uh, the cream colored nyad, um, just some light colored nyad for this color combination. And uh, I really advise you to uh, have at least one of these color combinations in uh, in your your bag. It's really really worth it. So. Um, Trying to remove really all of the uh, under fur as it uh, really makes the fly lighter and tie it in really really close to uh, the end of the fibers as uh, we want to have it quite long but I want to tie it in reverse as I'm just getting a little bit of more volume than into the fly and the uh, tail section here of uh, 
Nyad, which is tight now against the bucktail. It's also lifting, helps supporting the fibers a bit. Just tie on top of it. As I said, it's nearly the same fly, it's just an idea I want to share with you. And um, I like to have a little bit of flesh in here sometimes, and uh, when I do, I tie in, um, in the polar flesh. But uh, as I didn't have it anymore, and uh, I couldn't order the color I like because pearl wasn't in stock, I'm just using some. Uh, of this here, this is a wing and flesh from Hedron and uh, also really nice material. Just pull out a few fibers. I just like to have a really thin flesh material with Nyad as it's uh, blending really nicely. And then you can just tie it down, fold it back. It's not really necessary to uh, be really strong in it. And then you just give it a brush and all your fibers are shimmering, shimmering a bit. And that's already it. You don't need much more flesh. Now we tie another section of bucktail here. As I want to have a high belly, uh, a high back, and a, and a not as high belly, I'm tying it onto the top of the fly. So just pinch it with your fingers and then move it a little bit around. Not too much, no, just on the uh, top half. And you can see it if I turn it, so it's just on the top half, not on the bottom. And then you can pull it tight, and the fibers will rise again. Like that. And then you can tie just a little few softer wraps back. So the, um, it's not rising too high, but it really doesn't matter anyway because we put another layer of uh, Maya there. And we take um, a bit of the uh, dark grey Maya. Um, for the back. And as always, uh, we remove the armature. And uh, just tie it in here. And when you tie pike flies, it really depends on what you want to do. Um, but length is not always what you need in Nyad. If you tie on the back, you want to have a long Nyad, of course. But uh, for the um, for the belly color, I like it when it's a bit shorter. So uh, maybe just that size, because you don't need much more. And uh, we take a little bit of the uh, orange Nyad. For the belly color, and uh, remove the end of it, and uh, you can take out the long tips, make it a little bit smaller by tapering it, and um, that's when I don't need a long knot. So for the back you need a long, for the uh, belly you can decide what you want to tie in. So just give it a few wraps. And then we uh, can brush this one here to uh, flare it a bit. It makes it easy for us to, uh, to, to lay it around the top section of the fly. Lay it around the, the bucktail here, fold it around with the fingers. I'll try to show you. So you fold it around with the fingers and then you catch it with the thread just to distribute it around the fly. And then just give it one, two, three tight wraps and then you can tie the fly, uh, turn the fly and um, do the same with the, um, with the belly and uh, you flare it by pressing with your thumb onto the material and then you can, I hope you can see that, you take your fingers and fold it back around it and then you can catch it and this gives you the possibility to really cover all the sides with your different uh, night and then 
the fly is nearly finished. I've used a little bit of super glue now here. Uh, you don't have to, but um, I just uh, want to. Uh, it's not because I'm, I'm scared that the thread will open, but uh, when I hit a pike and I grab the material with the pliers, I uh, want to make sure that it's not turning on the hook shank. So I'm just uh, giving it a little bit super glue and a few more wraps. And then we have, we just brush it. And now you can see that the knife is really nicely distributed around the uh, all the sides of the hook. And uh, we have a nice gradient from the white to the blacker back, uh, to the darker back and of the gray. And when it's getting wet, you can see it will be looking like that. And now we tie our hat on. And uh, the hat we tie with uh, orange a uh, lava colored monster duck and um, with the um, baitfish grey two of my uh, favorite colors from the monster duck um, besides brown and baitfish belly I really like these colors but it's always depending on uh, which colors really catch big fish for you then uh, you like them more so we just don't take too much and uh, we we'll align the fibers again. Like that. Maybe just get the glue off here so it's not sticking onto it. Just get it a bit away so we can tie the, uh, bo uh, the, the, the monster up on and it's not already gluing on. So just few loose wraps and we just want to keep in the position if I would do too many wraps now I would uh, get too much volume in my head and that's not what I want so uh, we're not using much just small amounts and then tie the same amount on the belly like that Just a few tight wraps and then uh, as always you can just brush it out and see if it's distributed nicely over the head. I think it is. And then we can uh, just make a few tight wraps and uh, take our super glue again. And just get a little bit of super glue as always onto the thread. And then we can just move the thread around it into it and make a knot into the uh, the wet glue and we'll never get open again so as always I lost my scissors already where did I put them? always losing my stuff while tying oh here yeah. put the dubbing on top of it so just cutting the thread and then uh, brushing back the material brushing the uh, back first and then the belly now we just brush it a bit till the uh, hook shank on the side is covered a bit. It doesn't matter if, uh, if it's not covered completely as we're putting the ice on. But I'd rather tie in less material um, than to cover the whole hook shank on the sides as it's just giving the fly a nice movement and uh, it's a really thin material. And um, it, uh, thin materials, they have the tendency to uh, keep air bubbles trapped in between and if you tie it in in really clumsy big amounts um, like a lot of beginners would do then you have really hard times in getting the fly beneath the uh, surface on the water without fishing a, a sinking line and sometimes you want to fish right on the spot where you cast to so in this case it's really worth using less material so that's the fly and um, now we can choose which eyes we put on. And this fly, I like red eyes, so just give me a second. Here I am again. And on um, this fly I always fished red eyes, I don't know 
that uh, always work for me, so no reason to change it. And as always, we're using a little bit of Tiamenda. Try to show you in a bit, not too much, just to uh, let it soak in there. Like that. And then we uh, take our dubbing needle and uh, the E6000 again. Yeah, and then we, uh, to get it right, first of all, we uh, push the E6000, uh, not the uh, Tiamena, maybe a little bit into the material to uh, get it soaked all the way to the, um, to the uh, hook shank. And then we can take our glue onto the dobbing needle. And then we, oops, let me show you. Place it on the eye, like that. You can see that. And what we do then is we press it just onto the hook eye here, hold it with the finger, moving the needle out. Just place it here. And as we use just a few tiny thread wraps, we have now the bulky, um, bulky. Um, part of the belly section building up it behind it, which is giving it a little bit jerky movement later on. But what I'm doing now is just uh, finishing the fly and uh, what I wanted to try out and to show you, uh, you find out in a, in a minute. It's an idea which I really hope works. I'm really keen on trying it out. Just grabbing my eye tool. And now we're putting the fly aside. And you remember we tied in a fast attach here. So just put that aside and let it dry. So now we're using a, a stinger hook. This is a partridge stinger hook. It's a size 1.0. And it's, a, I think it's. A, bloody intruder it's called it's a salmon hook but it's a really strong hook and um, definitely strong enough for a bike and uh, we just tie on top of it like that and we uh, take a little bit of the um, of the titanium not much just a bit Tie one of it in here. It's a 45 OB uh, wire and uh, was a bit hard to uh, bend over with uh, this length in my fingers. So I'm just folding it back to the bead and tie it in. That makes it a bit easier for me. Just tie the second piece in like that. And now you can just pull the bead back and it's secured. Now we use a little bit of super glue. Not much. Just to uh, secure the thread wraps a bit and uh, to make a knot into the glue as always. That's done. Now what we do now so we have the stinger, we have the pipe fly, we um, take a tail. I'm just using one of the last fly I tied here, um, so we can skip the uh, tying part of the tail. So we're using a tail. And what we do now is we're using a tube. device. I uh, make them myself on a CNC machine of it because I want to tie it really close to the uh, 
to the uh, tube end. Just put a little bit of glue here. And um, just get a few loose wraps into it. There's uh, not much uh, pressure we want here. We want to keep it as soft as possible. And I uh, got myself some of the uh, monster rabbits and uh, make good noise. So we just tie it in like that. Just uh, get it really just into position. Tie it in here. And then get another one on the other side. Just try on top. Like that. It really doesn't have to be nice, it's just uh, more or less important that it's uh, on the same size, so we just tie it in here. We can't use too many wraps here, it doesn't really matter. The whole fly is just an idea, and I wanted to show you that. So we're just putting some glue on here. And a bit in between the rattles. Like that. Also can't be too much glue, because they're supposed to hold. Just uh, tie a little bit on top to remove a little bit of the uh, glue on the surface so I'm not getting stuck everywhere. And uh, yeah, just uh, cut my thread. The glue will do the rest. Just remove my tube and now it's uh, tied on the hook and it will stay there. It's not really looking nice, but that's not really the uh, main issue here. Cut the front bit a bit, because I don't want to have it too long. Like that. See that? And put that aside for a second. Now we uh, get back to our streamer. And now I hope I can show you that. Don't know if it's working, but uh, just to uh, find out now, eh? So I connect the streamer again. I'll just let me check if you can see everything. I'm just changing the position a bit to the tail section so you can see it better. And what I can do now is I can either fish through the fast attach clip, I'm just laying it in here so it's not uh, too much difference, but I can just get the uh, the, um, the tail into the fast attach and then, um, I can't see it from here, but uh, yeah, something like here. And then uh, we have a really nice fly with, um, with uh, just a dragon tail, wiggle tail or whatever tail you want to use for some extra action. When you have really like these uh, bikes, which are biting just on on, on the uh, on the edge, you can also just uh, use uh, the quick attach edge to get the uh, the the uh, hook on. A little bit difficult to do that on the bikes. So now we have the uh, stinger hook on, and uh, then we can, uh, when the stinger hook is on, I'm just sliding it here. We can still put your, put our tail on, hope you see that. Take a few pictures of that as well. 
So then we can still put the tail on. And now we have a stinger and a tail. But we also, when we get the stinger out again, it's just a bit difficult right now to uh, to work with it while it's on the vise. So uh, sorry for that. So when we get the uh, the tail out again, sorry for that. again so just get the fly a little bit out of the way and um, now we have the uh, the, the, the tail uh, the hook out again and uh, what we can do now is uh, we can take the rattle if it's working already it's uh, still a bit wet the super glue and when you use a really thin shank now like uh, you can use this one here in smaller sizes as well but then you can just hopefully push it through here. Should work, but I uh, need uh, something to, to pull it through. Let's try it again. Maybe it works. I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter. See, now we can slide the, uh, even the rattle on top of the streamer and we can uh, really decide on uh, what we want to do. We can modify the streamer in every kind of possibility. So now we have a, a rattle on top and now we can still put the stinger on. And now we have the possibility to just adjust the um, the streamer to the needs and how we want to fish it. If we have really dirty or milky water and we have to have a lot of noise, we just put the rattle in and adjust the tail. If we want to just fish really, really slow without much tension and just uh, have really shy pikes that uh, only uh, go on natural behaving bait fish, then we maybe just take everything off. If we just don't want to cast a wiggle tail because we only have an 8 weight rod with us or a 7 weight, we just take the wiggle tail off. And that's uh, if you have really pikes that only grab the tail of the, of the streamer, we put a stinger on. If we, we have really aggressive pikes that, keep the whole uh, that attack the whole streamer, we can remove the stinger again. So we have really quite a lot of possibilities to fish this fly now in uh, different kind of ways. So uh, this is a idea I wanted to share with you. Well, uh, thanks for watching.